surgery on the face or any any place else before? Only on my ear. What was that all about? A big puffy sinus infection on my ear, like it was like a big as a pierced ear hole. Okay. There was like a long name for it. Okay. So <clears throat> you have taken a Z pack in the past, you said? Yeah. We can try it. I mean, I hate to see you take antibiotic, you know, you were on it like a month ago, and then you're back here again. Oh. But, you know, more. So, but I want you to try to treat those um, allergy symptoms too, you know. I think this is more like an allergic reaction that you're having a lot of drainage. Yeah. Um, <coughs> take, keep taking that. I will not have them treating their spouses the way that you treat me. stuff up here. <coughs> what did the doctor say? <coughs> what did the doctor say? Um, he said I can try that medication. And then, if it comes back later, it could, uh, <clears throat> just continue to take my day quill and night quill. I love that ravioli thing over at Colleen Market. I'm gonna go there after Shaco. Hey, some hot coffee will wake me up too. <coughs>
Okay, boys, time to get busy. I don't get paid by the hour, you know. Keep quiet, Gasso. If you want to see us meet some girls, you're going to have to hang back. We don't want you cramping our style. Style? Ha! Numero uno. If you knew the first thing about style, you'd know that animal prints are passé. And secondly, dum-dum. And that's another thing. Enough with the dum-dum. My name is Fred Flintstone. F-L-I-N-T. Stone. I don't care who you are. There's <coughs> any reason to shout. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Who, oh, him? Oh, him, the little green guy. Don't you see him? <laughs> Rockefeller. Hey, Rockefeller. You know what? I don't care what happens to me. <coughs> but I'm not going to let you weasel your way closer to Wilma. As soon as I find her, I'm going to tell her exactly what's going on. Then we'll see how well your plan worked. There has been a robbery. All guests to the lobby. Uh-oh, there appears to have been a robbery. We'll have to continue this conversation later, Fred. Please, uh, step this way. What is he doing? He just rolled over a cop, killed him. Will you stop saying that? Max, it's over for us. Over. Oh, why? Right. Then just go to bed with me. The feel of the maestro's things. He moves back in today, you know. Yeah, I know. Party's over for you guys. You'll have to go home. Some girl called. Said she'd taken a lot of pills and was going to kill herself if you didn't call her. No, no. She really sounds bad. I think she sounds awful, but she sold six million dollars. Well, Walter! Walter! Hey, Walter! Yeah, I gotta get some food right now! Okay, we promise never come to your place again, but this is like a major crisis. Not my place anymore. When your father took all our money, he was so nice to us. You washed my hair. I didn't forget that. We trust you, Walter. We need your advice. I am sure I did not wash your hair. Look, I gotta get up early tomorrow and go see Benny. Walter. He was supposed to bring me a bucket of water. 
Correction, you have to be in control of your own kid, not her.
good. Bonus time. <laughs> 